Hi, my name is Rick Brooks and I'm the lead pastor at Free Church right here in High Point, North Carolina. And I've got a word for you today I believe is gonna to minister to your heart. I wanna to talk to you about destiny and the fact that destiny is not a mystery. You know, if you have your Bibles with you right now, your iPad, your iPhones, just pick it up for just a minute. Turn over to tw Jeremiah 29, 11. Scripture says this, for I know the plans I have for you, say of the Lord, they're good and not for disaster, to give you a hope in a future or a future in a hope. Some translations say to give, that the plans are good and not for evil. You know, I believe that, that God has a great big plan for us. And let's look at God in general. Boy, He's large, isn't He? You know, the Bible says that He's the creator. He's created the heavens, the earth. He creates the galaxies. Look at the mountains, the oceans, the stars. God thinks big. And many times I think it's our unfulfilled potential or untapped potential that keeps us back from the plan of God. I believe that God has great plans for us, but I believe there are ways that we can reach that plan. I think the first way that we do that is, first of all, we must know our purpose, and that is we must know God. The Bible says in John 3, 3, that we must be born again. Not that we should uh, or, or we could or uh, it's a possibility or maybe we ought to do this, but the Bible says we must be born again. Why? Because if we know God, then we can reach our potential in Him. The Bible also tells us that we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I think there are many people that know God, but do we allow the Holy Spirit to penetrate our lives? Do we allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us, speak to us, lead us, guide us on a daily basis? You know, the Bible tells us in Acts that they were filled with the Holy Spirit. I mean, you can't read in the Bible anywhere where you don't see Paul or Peter saying that our power, our, our resource, the reason we do what we do is because we're filled with the Holy Spirit. And as we receive the Word of God and we pray to God and speak to Him daily, we are in filled with His Spirit. But you know, the third thing that I believe that we need to do that we really don't do as believers, and that is pursue our potential. Not only should we have a purpose and know God, not only should we uh, be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, but we need to pursue our potential. How do we do that? Well, Paul said, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In other words, I'm very intentional about what I'm doing. Not only am I intentional, but I am intense. Man, I tell you, it consumes me. I am pursuing my potential as a, a father, as a husband. I'm pursuing potential as a business person. I'm pursuing my potential as someone within the community. I mean, it has just captivated my life. Why? Because I know that God has a big plan for me. You see, God says, I know the plans I have for you, but we have a big part in pursuing that plan. If we don't know God, then how can we pursue our potential? I believe that many, many times that we as Christians, uh, we just many times are buying time. We're just wasting time. And God help us not to waste time. I believe there are other people that really do want to know their potential, but uh, they're not allowing other spiritual leaders to lead them. They're not teachable in their hearts and teachable in their minds. And then there are very few select people that I am personally following that know how to tap into their potential, that know how to really pursue God and, and to walk in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I want to encourage you today that wherever you are, that you just make a goal list, uh, some goals spiritually, some goals that you're going to pursue with God, reading your Bible, getting up praying twice, three times a day. Uh, what about some goals for the family and goals for your marriage? and goals for your business, yes, of course. And certainly we must have goals for the church and goals for us as Christian believers, but we'll never reach that potential in our life if we don't know God. So I encourage you right now, wherever you are, to ask Jesus Christ into your heart. Uh, we must ask the Holy Spirit to fill us daily because if we don't, we'll be filled with the world's wisdom. And though that's okay, we need godly wisdom to fulfill our potential. And then, of course, we must pursue it. If we don't do anything about it, if we're just lazy laying in the chair, nothing's going to happen. We're going to have to get up and go to church and read our Bibles, and we're going to have to pursue our potential in God. Hey, God knows the plans He has for us. They're good. They're great. They're awesome. Pursue your potential in God today.